Hello guys, welcome to Aaron's Collecting and Detecting. Um, today's video, I'm going to show you more of my um, finds for the day. Um, metal detecting, and I am going to show you more of my top loaded cards. Um, so, today was a pretty good day outside. It was uh, nice and warm, nice and sunny, low humidity cool breeze, perfect for detecting. Um, I went back to the same place that I was at yesterday. Um, this place keeps turning up different things. That's why I'm going to keep going back until um, I get kicked out or there's nothing left to find. Um, just because some interesting stuff and it's all different, so which is good because I don't know about you guys, but as a metal detectorist, I think the worst thing is finding the same stuff. I mean, unless it's something really good. Um, but like, you know, I don't mind digging junk, but as long as it's different junk, you know what I'm saying? And as long as you th pepper in something cool once in a while, I'm good. All right, guys, I'll show you what I found. Um... First, I'll start with uh, the junk, which is you're always going to find this as a d detector person. Um, you're going to find more of this than anything else. A couple uh, pull tabs, one bottle cap, one rusty bottle cap. Can't get, uh, can't see what that is, so who knows what that was. It's actually starting to deteriorate on this side. Um, one of these plastic um, things that are over a juice, like a milk or something. And they, yes, they do have metal. A couple nails. Or it's a bent nail there, looks like. And then here's another nail here. So a couple nails. Um, this looks to be, I'm not quite sure, but it looks like a connector piece because I see threads right, right there, right around that area. And then that area gets bigger, but it's been sitting there a while, a connector piece for what I do not know. Um, it could be an attachment to a a drill or something like that. I don't know. I have no idea. There's that. And then one of the bottom part of a light bulb that was broke. But I don't know what the heck that was doing there. And then just this little piece of tin. Random piece of tin. Um, this wire. It was actually stretched out like like long ways but i had my dad fold it in half so he could fit it in his pocket um i did find this uh ceramic piece but i've seen um like piping for waters look like this so i'm thinking it's a piece of a water pipe this is the only piece that i found it was in one of those holes. It didn't ring up. It was just in one of the holes with something else. And then I thought this was interesting. This is actually a rock. It did not ring up anything, but it's. I found that it's it's perfectly square. Almost well, not perfectly square, but pretty pretty square. And it looks, and it's like flat on the sides. Um. Well, not on that side, flat on that side. I don't know, just the shape of it to me looks like it's weird. Like there should have, at first I thought it was a giant nut, um, but it wasn't. So it was turned out to be a rock, but it was cool nonetheless. And then this, this big uh, like pipe fitting, I think there was a connector, like a connector piece for pipes because there's threads inside, I could feel them. I don't know if you guys can see them or not. I can't see them myself. Let's get a little closer. Yeah, there's threads in there. I can feel them. 
Um, and then the coolest, well, next I'm going to show you, I got three pennies before I show you my coolest find. Um, an 84. Uh, here's an 84. Now, if you can see that, let me turn the, there we go. Is that, I think that's an 84S, actually. Not positive, though. It's hard to see. My eyes aren't that good anymore. This is a 94. And a 2006. So, nothing out of the ordinary there but what i did find it was very surprising to find and it was in very good condition it was a couple inches down but this little vaccination tag vaccinated against rabies the village animal clinic in farmington michigan and then it gives you the phone number and then like a little registration number or whatever for the tag. So I thought that was really cool. So somebody had a dog over there, nothing on the back. That's just a stamping from the front. It's kind of neat. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe that's not. Oh, I didn't notice that. The first time, oh, with my eyes, that's actually something else. It says something else. It's P, P R, is it P R R R P R R E I C O, and then it has a number after. Hmm. I wonder if that is the. The number, the phone number, and that is a, the dog name on there. Or the owner's name, like last name or something. P-R-R-E-I-C-O. Yep, I didn't see that before until I put the light of my phone on there. Huh, that's kind of neat. All right, well, that's it for my metal detecting finds. So I'm going to show you some top-loaded cards. Give me a second, guys. Now on to my top-loaded cards. Um, first player we're going to start with, um, he played for the Oakland A's and for the Astros and for the Orioles. Miguel Tejada. That is 1998. Upper Deck Star Rookie Preview Edition. Um, that's 8 out of 10. Next up is Upper Deck UD3 Future Impact Miguel Tejada. Cool card. And then next is a bronze of that. I think those I think those cards are pretty cool. What do you guys think? Kind of neat. Um This next one is from 2002 Don Russ Fan Club and this is a die cut. On um, the regular set isn't like that. Um this is a variation of the regular set. The regular set's just basic. The ba your basic design. 2003 Bowman. SP Authentic. Here's 
he was part of it at a really good crop of young shortstops um, that came out. Um, same time as A-Rod, Nomar, um, and uh, Jeter. But this is 2008 Upper Deck Hot Commodities insert. But uh, he, he was... Uh, Busted for steroids, too, unfortunately. Uh, this is 2009 Tops. There you go, Hats McGee. There's uh, an Astro for you. I, didn't know if, I don't know if you knew that. He was an Astro for a couple years. This is uh, 2009 Tops. Um... Tops Turkey Red insert. This is uh, 2010 Tops. And that is it for the Tejadas. I only have a few of those in there, top loaded. Um, but this next, this next player um, you guys are going to be very familiar with. Um, anybody have any guesses who's, who's next? They're in alphabetical order. Um, if you guessed Frank Thomas, you'd be right. Big, otherwise known as Big Hurt. This is his 1991 Bowman. One of my, this is one of my favorite players, guys. 1991 Fleer. I have a lot of these. A lot of this card. I know that. Um, 1991 Tops. This is 1990 Rookies, but this is uh, this set's from 1991. 1990 Rookies Commemorative Set. 1991 Upper Deck. This was a hot card back in the day because this is his first Upper Deck card. Another one. Um, this is from 1992 Donruss, his Diamond King. I love I love Diamond Kings, especially um, in these years. For I just like the way they were done. There's one. There's two. Uh, 1992 Fleer. All Star. And I believe you got these in jumbo packs, these All Stars. Um, this next is 1992 Pinnacle. Um, this is a Slugfest. I think, is it an insert? Yes, it's an insert. 1992 Stadium Club. Another one. I got a ton of him. Triple play, 1992. Yeah, I got a ton of Frank, Frank Thomases that aren't even top loaded either. As added on to the ones here that you're seeing now. 1992 Tops. 1992 Upper Deck. Um, 1993 Don Russ, Gallery of Stars. Uh, this is 1993 Leaf, um, Gold Leaf Stars insert, Frank Thomas on the front, Mark Grace on the back, another one of those, um, and this is uh, a little subset that Leaf did, 
Um, it is uh, it's a Frank Thomas set, but I don't remember what the set was called other than that. It says Frank Aggressive. That's num card number one. Here's another one of those. I got these cards as part of the collection from Arizona. Can you tell by the color of the top holders? It's like kind of yellowish, orangish. This one says intense. Here's another one of those. That's number, oh, that was number three. I guess I don't have two. This one's confident. That's number four. Another one. Um, this next one is assertive. That's number five out of ten. Next one is strength. Well, this is eight out of ten, so I don't have six or seven either. Evidently. No, I don't think I have it. Number 9 out of 10, Concentration. And this is number 10 out of 10, Preparation. Not Preparation H, but just Preparation. I know, it's a bad joke. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. Um, this next one is uh, from Stadium Club. It is a... Second City Slugger insert, and this is what it looks like, and this is actual dual card. It's got a, another player on the other side. Do you guys, any idea who the other player is? I will show you. Ryan Sandberg, because they're both from Chicago. Um, this is a... Don Ross Studio, 1993. Um, this is a 93 Tops. There's the back. This is 93 Tops Gold. Love me some Topps Gold. Back then, guys, kids, guys and kids, um, there wasn't a lot to be excited about with cards. They were all basically the same, with the few exceptions. So you get a little shine like this, and you get all excited. This is from um, 1993 Triple Play. This is a nickname card. Insert. This is 1993 Ultra. This is 1993 Upper Deck. South, South, South Side Sluggers. Him and Robin Ventura. Here's the back. Um, this is 1993 Upper Deck. This is uh, the little Future Heroes uh, little set. Frank Thomas. There you go. 1994 Fleer Golden Moments insert. This is uh, from 1994 Leaf. This is Power Brokers insert. I think that card's really cool. Uh, this is a 1994 
uh, t t Team Stadium Club Finest. This is like a little insert set. It's the number 12 of 12. So there's 11 other players in that little set. Um, I showed one of them yesterday. I can't remember the rest. Probably Griffey, I would assume, and Bonds. Stuff like that. This is a 1994 Tops. This is a All-Star. Fred McGriff and Frank Thomas. Probably the two that started the All-Star game at their positions that year. I'm assuming. I'm not positive. Uh, this is a 1994 Tops Black Gold. Frank Thomas. There's another. This is uh, 1995 Fleer. Um, this is All Stars. Frank Thomas on the front. And guess who's on the back, guys? Greg Jeffries. I didn't know he was an all-star either. I'm sure some of you knew that, but I didn't. I can tell you that much. Uh, this is a 1995 Leaf. It's a little checklist. And there's the back. There's the back of the checklist. Um, this is from 1995 Leaf as well. This is a 300 club insert. This is 1996 Upper Deck. Now this is a power driven insert. It's got the little diamond pattern there. It's pretty cool. I like that card. There's good old Peter Gammons. Um, I miss his commentary on baseball, on baseball tonight. Um, leave a leave a little comment below if you watched uh, Peter Gammons on baseball tonight. He's a very he's a very he he had a lot of baseball knowledge and he's very uh, very eloquent the way he uh, spoke about it. This is from nineteen ninety seven. This is from Leaf Certified. Um. Actually, this is Pinnacle. I'm sorry. Pinnacle totally certified. Um, and this I got from a card show. I think I showed this card in one of my early videos, I believe. And that's numbered 3986 out of 3999. This is uh, 97 Tops. Frank Thomas. This is uh, 97 up, Upper Deck. This is the 10th anniversary preview. It's like a little 60 card subset. This is uh, 98 Pinnacle Performers. This is 99 Bowman's Best. Um, this is 99 Bowman's Best Franchise Best insert. This is numbered. It is 518 out of 3000. This is from 1999 also this is his power deck card next up is 2000 Bowman next one is uh, 
Upper Deck Pros and Prospects from 2000. Next one is Upper Deck Victory 2000. Actually, that's Ultimate Victory. There's Victory and Ultimate Victory. Um, Victory was like plain white border, and Ultimate Victory was a blue, the blue shiny border. And they were actually completely different sets. This is uh, we jump up to 2003 Bowman. Two thousand three tops own the game insert shiny shiny. This is two thousand three tops also it's record breaker insert. Um, two thousand three tops uh, sporting sporting news all star. Um, 2003 Upper Deck, a Superior Slugger insert, um, 2003 Victory, and that is a hit by a pitch. Because usually, like I said, it says single, double, triple. Um, there's also bunt, there's home run, and I guess there's a hit by a pitch too. Um, this next one is 2004 Absolute Memorabilia. Check out the shine on this one, guys. This is a really cool Frankie. This is a 2004 Bazooka comic. And it's blank on the back. This is 2004 Cracker Jack. I like that card a lot too. Uh, 2004 Flare. Uh, 2004 Fleer Platinum. Two thousand four Fleer Ultra. Two thousand four Upper Deck Power Up with a little bobblehead looking Frank Thomas. And I have no idea what that ten points is. It's must have been a game or something that you could play with the cards. Um, this next one is from 2005. It's Fleer Patchworks. I like that design. I think it's really cool. Next one is... Oh, wait. Was that 2005? Oh, yeah, it was. And then this one... Oh. Wait a second. Oh. I get, that one was out of uh, place. And I got them a couple out of place. I got them all screwed up here. Give me one second, guys. Okay. This is uh, Fleer Hot Prospects from 2004. This is Skybox Autographics. From 2004. This is one second. Yeah, this this Fleer Patchworks is from 2005. Now, so now I got them straightened out. This Fleer Ultra is from 2005. Um, 
This upper deck Super Slugger insert is from 2005. Actually, this one's from 2004. Man, I got them all mixed up here. Another one of those. Hold on a sec. Okay, let's hope I'm um, got everything straightened out now. Upper Deck ESPN from 2005. This is uh, Fleer from 2006. This is. This is an Upper Deck All-Star Classics. This one's actually from 2005. I wonder why these are all out of order. Yeah, I don't know why they're out of order, so many of them. I could see maybe one or two. 2006, postseason highlights. Another one of those. 2006 lead, or, uh, team leader, Frank Thomas and Zito. I don't know if all of you knew he was on Oakland for a year or two there. There's, him, there's another one of those cards. A third. This is uh, 2007 Bowman. And then he was on Toronto there. 2007 Bowman Gold. Um, 2007 Fleer. Crowning Achievement insert. There's the back. 2008 SP Authentic. Two thousand eight SP Legendary Cuts. Another one. Two thousand eight Tops Moments and Milestones. Numbered 110 out of 150, 25 home run card. Um, this is another Moments and Milestones. Number 80 out of 150, 235 career homers. This is 149 out of 150, 294 career homers card. Um, this 2008 Upper Deck Season Highlights. Two thousand eight Goody. Another. Another. And yet one more. Two thousand eight Upper Deck X. Another, 2008 Upper Deck X die cut. 2009 Tops Black. This is uh, 2011 Tops. Um, diamond anniversary Sparkly sparkly and this was after he was retired so He retired in 2009 after the 2009 season Or in there somewhere. I don't remember now 2011 tops mini 2011 diamond duos him and Adam Dunn This is a 2011, I want to say this is an archive, but I'm not sure. 
this is a reprint, so when it says Diamond Vision right there, so I don't know. You guys know what? Let me see. Yeah, it just says tops. Maybe it's just from regular tops. I don't know. I don't know about that one, guys. Um, I do know what this is from. This is a 2011 Tops Lineage Mini. Two thousand twelve Gypsy Queen with uh, that little back, the Gypsy Queen back. Two thousand thirteen Chasing History Rainbow Foil. Was it say White Sox home runs Chasing History? Two thousand thirteen Alan Ginter. Two thousand fifteen Don Ross Press Proof numbered what is that? Thirty out of one ninety nine. And last but not least, two thousand fifteen tops first home run, which was August twenty eighth, nineteen ninety. So, that's it for today, guys. That's it for Frank Thomas. All right. Well, I hope you guys had a good day. Um, be kind to one another. Um, try to be kind to each other. Um, just try to do good. Try to enjoy life. Um, every little thing about it. Because life is too short to be upset, to be miserable, and just enjoy what you have, no matter what, what it is. And uh, let's have a good one, guys. Oh, and as always, do what you love and love what you do. Bye.